Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Agave Talk, your number one source for everything agave. We appreciate you being here with us today. Today, very, very, very excited. If you've been following us, you know the past few videos we have actually shot here in Lima, Peru. Yes. We made a move to Lima, Peru, and talking agave, there's not too much here. However, there is a brand straight from Peru. If you do follow the channel, you'll know that uh, we brought you this brand, the very first people to bring you this brand about a year or so ago, Acara. Yes, Acara, Agave de los Andes. You guys got to understand that, yes, you know, the word tequila is designated to Mexico, right? Kind of like Champagne and Champagne, France. Well, tequila is just made from one species of agave. You also have mezcal from Oaxaca, right? Mezcal is made from many different species of agave. Well, guess what? Agave grows everywhere. Well, I mean, not everywhere, but agave grows in a lot of places, okay? <laughs> And one of those places that agave does grow is actually here in Peru. So if you feel like going down a little cool rabbit hole, um, there is a place called Caraz, Caraz in Peru. Uh, go check that out. Look that out on a map. Um, this is actually coming from really high up in the mountains. Uh, Caraz actually comes from the Quechua word. Quechua is the ancient Peruvian language. Um, check that out too. Again, just go down a huge rabbit hole after this, Google, YouTube, whatever you want. But the word Quechua Caras, uh, which means actually the place of agaves or the place of maguez. Um, so Acara, again, coming from the word Quechua, uh, it meaning the place of agaves. So even to ancient, ancient history, ancient languages, right? Talking about agaves, talking about maguez. And again, this is coming straight out of Peru. Cool little history lesson before we get into this bottle. And what's so special about this bottle if we've already uh, reviewed a few of them? Well, guess what? This is their brand new offering. This is the Rito, Rito offering. You can see this brand new red label, the Rito up there. What does that mean? Well, guess what? This is a smoked version, yes. I am so excited for this. You have no idea, completely sealed. You're on this journey with us. Um, this is clocking in at 47%. This is a smoked version of the spirit. Uh, very, very, very excited. You can see on the back, I'll bring that into shot. Oh, move the glass. Uh, Acara is born in the high in the Peruvian Andes and Caraz, again, Caraz. Uh, which in the ancient Incan language, which means place of the agaves, right? So on the nose, they're saying that the way they made this, they smoked it. So they distilled it, they smoked it. Well, they smoked it, then distilled it, right? <laughs> so they're kind of going for like a mezcal kind of vibe on this. And I'm really curious because I do love mezcals. Um, I love my mezcals smoky, love that smoke. I mean, what really has me intrigued here is that we're talking that this has notes of jerky, notes of smoked baked vegetables, right? Fat, like that grease, that barbecue. I don't know, that's that's kind of what I'm taking from reading this. Um, it says it's gonna be a little sweet on the palate with a light dry mud flavor. You know, if you watch the channel, um, love my tequilas, love my, my mezcals, my agave spirits to be minerally. I love Highland tequilas. Love when, when my mezcal tastes like dirt, right? Those tobalas, those quiches. Love them, love them, love them. So I'm super excited to see what this is going to be. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's pretty much it. Taking a look at the bottle, uh, the neck, uh, Acara, Caraz, Peru. Uh, you got the branding there, really cool with, you know, the towering quiote in the back. They're using um, agave americano. Uh, so again, you can check that out. What's great also is that the it's, it's coming from the mountains, like high up in the mountains, um, 2,256 meters um, in freedom units. That is 7,401 feet uh, from way up in the mountains. And they're actually using water that is uh, melted glacier, fresh melted glacier water from a lake that's about 30 kilometers away from the distillery, 18 miles. 
They're hauling that in. They're using that in this product. And uh, I'm so curious to see what this 40% smoked acara agave de los Andes is going to be about. So cool. Thank you guys for being here. Oh, miss that. Cooked in clay ovens. Um, again, at that altitude, right? That 2,256 meters above sea level. Meters above sea level. Um, that was, again, 7,401 feet. All right. So we're about to open this bad boy up. This is uh, uh, the very the first. There is no other I can guarantee. I will put money on it. I am not a betting man. This is the very first review on this. The first time anybody's seeing this. So remember where you saw things first, okay? So uh, pretty premium up here. I'm going to take off this neck little like wrap. Um, and underneath is a wooden cap. Let your bottles pop. Oh, that's tight. <laughs> there we go. This right here is just a, a wooden, just a wooden stopper. Uh, pretty nice, pretty nice. Feels good, all right? So if you have not done so already, please hit that like and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk, all right? So, oh man, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. I really am. <sighs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> So looking at this, um, completely clear, completely clear. They say, um, even some of the marketing, they're saying that this is beyond the clarity of water, right? Even clearer than water. This is pretty clear. You can see the legs and tears right there. That is not going anywhere. That is stuck to the glass. That is not moving. I mean, you can even, God, no, you can't really see. Yeah, right there in the back. And this is the front still not moving. We got a tiny bit in the back. I mean, that's ridiculous how long that's sticking on the glass, all right? Let's take a smell. Hmm, okay. I'll be honest, I was expecting more smoke. There's not a lot of smoke on that initial smell. It is there, it's in the back, but I was expecting the way they were marketing, you know, that it's a real smoke. Uh, they smoked it, they smoked it. Um, I was expecting more. Um, I think I hyped myself up a bit more than maybe I should have. But again, the marketing is all about, you know, uh, they're really getting that smoky, that jerky. You're getting, uh, you know, they. this is the reason, the Rito, right? That's this, uh, this version is they actually smoked the agaves uh, before they distilled it. So I was expecting a little bit more, but it's definitely there. It's definitely there. Don't get me wrong. I was expecting a punch in my face. <laughs> I was, you know, let me rephrase that. I was hoping for a smoke punch in the face. <laughs> I love smoking mezcals and agave spirits. And this is definitely there. It's kind of like, it's kind of like charcoal. So it's not like a wood smell. It's more of like a, like a charcoal carbon, like, like briquettes. It definitely has more of a mezcal vibe to it. Definitely kind of espadine, like it's got like an espadine vibe to it, but you're, di you are getting that agave americana in there. Oh, oh man, as that opens up, you're definitely earthy. Oh. Yeah, definitely got some earth on there. You are getting kind of like that clay, a bit of mineral, but Yeah, the smoke is on the end. It's not on the initial, but it's really, it's definitely, definitely earthy. It's got the earth, it's got the agave, and it's got the hints of smoke in there. Oh man, this is, this is nice. I can, I can see, you know, like if I had a piece of beef jerky, I know you're saying it's a taste, even the smell mountain smells not sure what the mountain smells would be maybe like like some dew like if you wake up in the morning the ground's all wet the grass is wet maybe they're the fire uh, you start a fire real early early in the morning and it's kind of mixing with the humidity in the air oh yeah that's nice that is nice as i'm kind of explaining that picture you know memory smell everything it's it's incredible how it works and as I'm like picturing that that picture, um, I go camping often. Like, 
that really helped with uh, with the nose on this. Uh, let's take a sip. Let's take a sip. Cheers. Salud. Mm. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh. So, definitely a bit more smoke um, on the taste and the smell, for sure. This, oh, that's good. Yeah, that charcoal taste. It's that, and it's not like American charcoal. American charcoal, like the little squares, the little briquettes. Um, if you've gone outside of the States, uh, you know, many countries, they'll actually use, they call it carbon. Well, in South America, carbon where it's like the plates of like real bricks of like charcoal, right? It's not the tiny little like artificial looking stuff that looks like little squares you get in the States. It's like the long, like you could smack it. It's a piece of tree, right? That has been fossilized. <laughs> that smell when you're cooking um, over a grill, paria, right? Uh, my Peruvians, if you're Peruvian watching this, anticuchos, you're getting that, that grill, smell in the flavor. Let me take another sip. Okay. Oh yeah. So it's the agave Americana. It's definitely, um, they have their, their regular like Blanco Plateado, I think is what they call it. I forget the exact, like, uh, how this is Rito. Um, they have another one with berries. Um, Huamai, I think something like that. Uh, they have a reposado and they have like their original, I think it says plateado on it. Um, so it's kind of that flavor, but smoked and different. Not really sure how else to describe that, um, but it's definitely, it's it's not Espadine, right? It's not Blue Weber. Again, guys, it's a completely different species of plant. Um, Americana, agave Americana is not really one of my favorite um, distilled maguey species, and this though, it's taking it to a different level and I'm actually really digging it. Not sure if it's maybe because I really miss my mezcals, uh, but this right here, it is absolutely more along the lines of mezcal. If you are somebody that loves mezcal, um, this right here, oh man, you're gonna be digging this. You are going to be digging this. Let me take another sip for sure. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. -mm -mm. mm. Oh yeah. Oh man, definitely rustic, definitely earthy. Um, you're getting kind, I get, I could see it's kind of meaty. It's definitely kind of meaty. Again, like uh, when it was talking about that fat content, right? Like you can even see right there. You can see it on the camera, just lines, lines of the leftover legs and tears. I'm not going to wash this cup tonight. Oh, there's still a tiny bit in there. I'm not going to wash this cup tonight. And I would recommend other people to do that as well. Uh, if you really want to kind of nerd out, drink a cup, especially out of a Rito glass. Uh, drink a cup, leave it overnight, go back in the morning and smell it. It's going to smell so cool, so different. All that alcohol that might have been there is completely gone and you're really left with some really cool notes. Um, let me take that last little drop. Mm -mm -mm. I'm digging that. It definitely takes the original to another level with the process that they're doing. Um, I wish I knew a little bit more about the process. Like, uh, what were they using to smoke it? How long did it smoke for? It doesn't really say that um, anywhere on here. It doesn't say that. And I'm, I'd, I'm curious. I would really be curious to see um, what that process looks like. And uh, if I do find out, we'll update you on Agave Talk. So if you have not done so already, please hit that like and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk, all right? And when I do get an update, I'll definitely put it there. Um, I, my apologies for the car alarm that's going on um, in the background, if you can hear that or not. Again, guys, we're living in the city, Peru. And this right here, through and through, an absolute gem um, straight from Peru itself, Agave de los Andes, the Agave of the Andes. So, Akara, thank you. This right here, amazing, amazing. I'm really digging a Rito, really digging this. And I would highly encourage anybody who especially loves Mezcal, definitely look for this bottle, all right? 
Thanks for being here, everybody, and take care.